Welcome back everyone. Let's take a look at this thermodynamics problem. We have a mass of 10 kilograms of refrigerant R134A. It fills a rigid container and the volume is given right here. Initial temperature negative 40 C. Container is heated and then the final pressure is 200 kilopascals. They want us to determine the final temperature and initial pressure. All right, let's get started. Let's minimize all this stuff and put it out of the way so we have room to solve the problem. And let's start our thinking process by looking at the volume. It says a rigid container. That means the volume will not change throughout this exercise. At the V1 will be equal to V2 and the actual number is given right in the problem 1.348 cubic meters good now mass will not change either therefore we can conclude that the specific volume one will be the same as specific volume two write up the specific volume formula which is simply volume over mass right we have both of these variables given in right here Plug them in and right here, 0 0.1348 cubic meters per kilogram. This is the specific volume of our refrigerant at state 1 and at state 2. Good. Now, what are we going to do with this? We're going to take it and we need to figure out what kind of state is this in. So for that, we're going to go to the saturated refrigerant table, temperature table. Right? This is the area that... Uh, Oh, that is of interest for us. So we are interested around right here. T1 equals negative 40 C. So that line would be this one. All the other lines we don't care about, right? And uh, the table, of course, has other uh, properties here, but we're not working with them, so I didn't copy them over here. So we have T uh, negative 40 C right here, and we have the specific volume that we just calculated so we're going to take this value and come to the specific volume column we have two numbers vf and vg this is liquid this is gas right so our uh, specific volume that we found we can see that is right between them that means our refrigerant is in transition going from the liquid state to the a gas state or backwards whichever so that means it's simply a mixture very good this helps us out a lot because since it is a mixture our initial pressure will be equal to the saturation pressure that is given right here in the table yeah. and all we have to do is simply copy it 51.25 kilopascals All right, this is one of the values that they asked us to find, the initial pressure. Good. We also determined that we are dealing with a mixture. So let's take a look at our PV chart. Here's the pressure, specific volume, here's the famous line. And we know that our state one is right here in this area since it is a mixture. Now we're going to heat this and we're going to go to the superheated table and verify that we are not just heating it from one mixture to become another mixture, but indeed we're going to heat it enough where it's going to cross this line and will become a superheated. Okay, let's see. Uh, superheated table. We're going to go to the pressure window that's relevant to us. P2 is 200 kilopascals. Make sure you don't get confused with the units because sometimes they like to change them to megapascals here. So we know the pressure and we also know this guy, specific volume. So take this uh, 0 0.1348 and simply scroll through these values and see if you can find it falling somewhere in, in a range. So we see that this falls between these two guys right here. Right off the bat, this tells us that yes, it is superheated and uh, the temperature will fall somewhere between 60 and 70 Celsius. Now, to be more precise, we can take these values and simply interpolate for T1 
T2 being equal to 66.3 Celsius. All right, there you go. We found both of the requested values and we can call it a day. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.